I love to dream about amazing containers. When our plants are growing, you know, this small in the greenhouse, but you get to think about springs around the corner and I get to make my containers. Anybody can be successful at containers. Anyone can. And it is probably the most rewarding thing you can do. Sure. You get instant gratification. You did it. Your own design. Yeah. And what I always like to tell people, look at your garden the year before and sure. your containers and get an idea of the size, the trailing things, things that you were really pleased with and use those again next year, but so maybe change it up. Take some pictures, take some notes so you exactly. have some reference points for next year. Yes. The next is our easy as one, two, three system, sure. which is great for container gardening. The number one is the centerpiece. Yep. The number two is the mounding. Yep. Yep. And the number three is the trailing. Sure. So what we recommend is you take an one number one, a few number twos, and maybe three number threes, and you're done. Absolutely. And our signs coordinate with that. They will actually tell you this is a number one plant, this is a number two. So you can easily go through the greenhouse and put it all together. And you can mix colors and textures and height and everything you want to do with exactly, that. Exactly, yes. Yeah, the cool. more color, don't forget, Mother Nature is not angry at you for putting an orange and a red and a pink together. She loves it. That's so. awesome. And you got to start with proper soil. Yes. And this, in fact, though, has no soil in it. This is soilless. This is 100% sphagnum peat, the best grade you can buy. Uh, this is the Bordine potting soil, which I would never not use, even sure. though I work at Bordines. It is the best. We grow 100% of our annuals with this soil. Well, we sell so much of this, Fiona, because yes. people are successful exactly. with it. But it does start with the soil. Yes. So you got the soil, you have amazing plants, and then you got to feed the plants. Yes, fertilize. Uh, in my garden, I will fertilize once a week. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that you have to, but it is you can see the end results in fertilizing once Absolutely. a week. Absolutely. Now, if you want to do what, every two weeks, that's fine too. But the important thing is that you do fertilize. And I think that is the message. If you can yes. do it once a week, you do it twice a week, you do it once a month. However, you got to fertilize. You have to. That's why you get beauty. That's why you get growth like that. Exactly. So anybody can do containers like this. It's easy as one, two, three. It's easy as one, two, three.